Exciting times for the European space industry as the combined tests for the Ariane 6 launcher have begun. The objective of these tests is to verify and validate the compatibility between Ariane 6 and its dedicated launch pad at Europe's spaceport in French Guiana. It's an essential dress rehearsal to prepare and train the teams before the rocket's inaugural flight. An industrial and human adventure with thousands of people spread across many European companies and institutions working together. The Ariane 6 programme is managed and funded by the European Space Agency, ESA, with Ariane Group being responsible for the design and development of the launcher itself. The French Space Agency, CNES, took responsibility for the construction of the new Ariane 6 launch base at Europe's spaceport, and Ariane Space will be the launch service provider for Ariane 6. With the combined tests at Europe's spaceport, a number of milestones have been achieved over the course of the summer. In the new Launcher Assembly Building, teams from Ariane Group, CNES and ESA completed an important step of the process, the horizontal, mechanical and electrical assembly of Ariane 6's central core. A few weeks later, the rendezvous. For the first time since its conception, Ariane 6 was able to meet its launch pad the doors of the Launcher Assembly Building opened to let Ariane 6's central core through. It took about 20 minutes at 3 km per hour for the launcher to cover the 800 meters separating the assembly building from the launch pad. The rocket was then lifted from its horizontal assembly position to its vertical position. Ariane 6 is the first launcher in the Ariane series to be assembled horizontally. It makes it easier for the technicians and helps save time and money on every launch. Another element contributing to the competitiveness of Ariane 6 is its P120C solid rocket boosters. The P120C solid propellant motor is also used by Europe's other new launcher, Vega C. Sharing this key component means cost savings for both rockets. The P120C demonstrated its performance on the 13th of July with the successful inaugural flight of Vega C. But it's not only in French Guiana that testing of Ariane 6 continues. In the purpose-built test facility in Lampolshausen, Germany, crucial firing tests of the upper stage engine will soon begin. Then the upper stage will undergo further testing at ESA's STEC Technology Centre in the Netherlands. Now only a few steps remain before the teams at Europe's spaceport can switch from the test models they're using for the combined tests to the flight hardware that will be used for the inaugural flight of Ariane 6. A first which will be followed by many launches, continuing Europe's heritage of independent access to space. <laughs>